Well, um, something that, that comes through all the time with your work and a lot of your Twitter interactions is this idea of constantly having to reiterate your liberal con- credentials. I think erroneously a lot of people assume that anyone that's critical in this sphere must be a, a right-leaning conservative or worse. I think right-leaning conservative is probably the politest term they'll often throw your way. Uh, and you have to keep constantly reaffirming your liberal credentials. So it might just be a good point here to ask, how exactly do you identify as a liberal? What does being a liberal mean to you? What what sort of school of thought could you point people towards to get a better grip? on what liberalism is okay so really good books for what liberalism is are um kindly inquisitors by um uh, jonathan, jonathan Rausch and also um a thousand small sanities by adam gotnick um and edmund Fawcett. i can't remember the name of, of the book i think it's some there's something to do with the explanation of liberalism but essentially with liberalism what we're looking at is a confidence in in the individual, the individual as the univers- as the element, the unit of society, and the individual who must be allowed to have access to um, all that society has to offer. So it's individualism and universalism, humanism. There's freedom of belief and freedom of speech and plurality. The idea that we can live together. Uh, and believe different things and have different religions and have different cultures. And we don't actually have to um, legislate one of them and control and make everyone else conform to it. It's essentially an aim for um, freedom and removing barriers in the way of any individual's um, success. So liberals are often conflated with leftists because leftists are more progressive, but classical liberals who have tend to have um, a more of a focus on the freedom of markets can also be conservatives. So the idea of a liberal conservative is perfectly coherent. Um, However, I am a left liberal, and this is because I lean left on economic policies. I want to tax rich people a lot more to fund um, public services. I, um, I want more affordable housing. I want the NHS to do better. And, you know, generally left leaning uh, policies combined with a concern for the rights of women and um, racial and sexual minorities. I get myself in trouble with agenda critical feminists because I think it's quite clear that trans people are actually a marginalised minority group who face a lot of abuse. Hmm. I also think that it, it is true that trans women cannot be accepted straightforwardly as women in every situation or we're going to lose women's sports and there's going to be safety issues in, in places like prisons and shelters. So I think there's a a liberal um, sort of approach that we can take to things where we're using reason, we're using evidence and we're getting a lot of diverse viewpoints together and having rational conversations. Yeah. Well, you're someone who's always generated a fair amount of attention for your work over the years, whether it be editing a magazine, writing yourself, things like that. But it, I mean, these last two years or so, it's really blown up in terms of some of the things uh, you've worked on in terms of you know generating headlines, uh, attention on social media, things like that. And I can imagine it can mm. be very difficult to operate in that sphere or keep a sense of balance or keep grounded when you've got that much coming towards you. And it, I think it's generally true, but not always, that when it's focused on social media, the, the bad stuff sort of sticks out like a sore thumb and, and the attacks uh, on you as a person. I'm just wondering how you're mm. dealing with this new form of uh, fame in a way this this uh, extra attention that you didn't really ask for but nonetheless has become a byproduct of the work you do how are you handling that <laughs> well until recently I, I wasn't handling it at all well I, I actually became um, uh, quite unwell um, mentally with the amount of abuse that I was um, getting I was not able to use Twitter in a healthy way at all I kept looking, kept scrolling through my notifications and taking a lot of the understandings to heart and feeling like I must clarify everything. 
I've got a lot better since I have simply, it's got so bad now, now that I um, annoy um, huge numbers of people on the right as much as I annoy huge numbers of people on the left, there's so much of it, I, I can't even keep up with it and I no longer try. So I use Twitter now. Um, mostly to broadcast um, tweet threads of things that I'm thinking, share news of things that's happening. I'll check in and, and see, you know, have a chat with a few of my my regulars who have been there um, for, uh, for years. Uh, but I I can't I can't deal with Twitter, and I think Twitter is a bad um, place to get sucked into if you are at all a mentally vulnerable person who is sort of psychologically inclined towards taking things to heart now I I personally um, would refer, prefer to reduce my public profile a bit whilst increasing the effect that we're having and this is this is largely what counterweight is going to do it's going to enable me to actually do things um, behind the scenes much more an area I getting information out there it doesn't always have to be focused on me as a person but I can be doing practical things and not constantly be in the spotlight and be accused of um, being an SJW one minute and then a Nazi the next <laughs> I don't I I mean I can't there's not a single opinion you can put out on Twitter without fostering in some sort of disagreement it is it is rather insane and I just speaking of social media in general do you think a sort of evolved apes that we are we're we're just not cut out to have this many voices and opinions coming in and out all at once at our every utterance I just don't I don't think we're equipped for it mentally in general I, I have bought three books to read um, to try to understand this, and I haven't yet read any of them. So my opinion at the moment is not worth uh, a great deal. But I was one of the people who used to argue that Twitter and other forms of social media um, are valuable tools if you just use them sensibly. So my essay on that was called Hate Twitter. You might just be doing it wrong. I totally recant everything I said in that <laughs> essay now. <laughs> it's no it, it is it is a sewer and it sucks you in it brings out the worst in people and you know you have to have a really really strong personality um in order to be able to use that um use use twitter or other kinds of social media in a way where you can have productive conversations with other people and not and sort of shrug off the unjust abuse and misinterpretations you know you might need the zen of somebody like sam harris to be able to to do this and i i don't have that um i i don't think many people do that, i mean that that is one of the things that does tend to ruin drama uh, sorry ruin twitter rather is the drama and there is this strange inclination to instantly go to war with people you otherwise had perfectly good and healthy relationships when you throw social media into the mix and i see this time and time again and i've, I've probably been a part of it in in ways myself and it, it, is this something to be said for getting back and i mean i appreciate we're in in the midst of a, a lockdown and a pandemic but is there something to be said about getting back to proper face-to-face -face or even just vocal discussions with each other rather than digital screen discussions where you're playing to an audience as well i i, I think i think certainly yes yeah, so, you know talk, talking to somebody by skype or even using a, a platform like letter where you're just speaking to one person and you have time to think about and, and put down your ideas in a thoughtful way i think that's better than twitter where there is the the temptation to snipe and score points, and um, you know it, it doesn't really allow for for thoughtful conversation. So I I would like to get back to to, to more productive conversations. However, I I always say I'm not really a speaker. I consider myself to be a writer. I'm a very introverted person, and I I much prefer to write than to to speak so if it came to um yeah all conversations being face to face i'd probably only have two a month so <laughs> but writing writing at more length would um would be better than than writing a snarky comment on twitter particularly 
if your intention is just to translate somebody else um, into meaning something they don't mean. So I think that's more frustrating. I'd rather somebody call me a fucking idiot and tell me I'm wrong than represent me in a way I just don't recognise at all. I think there's, there's something deeply, deeply f- more frustrating about that than being told you're wrong. Yeah, I mean, so many people, um, when we announced the launch of Counterweight, and there's plenty of information there saying um, how we're, we're um, an organ- a liberal humanist organisation for liberal understandings of social justice and opposition to racism, um, people just um, translated it as um, we're going, we exist to help racist people be racist without um, any consequences. So that is quite annoying, but I can I can ignore this now because it's it's so blatantly a misrepresentation. Where I'm liable to get sucked in is if someone um, seems to be being kind and uh, generous and meeting half of my point, but then missing a vital part of it. Right. I I, ca- I cannot leave that alone. I I have to tidy that up. It almost feels. Like, because I had, I have suffered from OCD, although I've largely um, overcome it now. It, it does feel like I've just tied, I've put, set my shelf out neatly with my point. Someone has come along and moved something, and I can't bear it. I have to move it back, and I have to do that over and over again until they stop doing it. And I have people in my DMs saying, "You have clarified yourself enough. Get off Twitter for the love of God." <laughs> I can relate to this one because there's there's a part of you that thinks if I just phrase this in just the right way in my 25th tweet on the matter, the, the, pe- the penny will drop and the problem will go away. 